Good morning, good morning, good morning everybody. Welcome back to the channel. It's been a couple of weeks since I've posted and uh, well, caught some good weather and uh, I'm kind of 95% recovered from the injury so I thought we'd go out for a small ride today and just see, see how it feels back on the bike. I've only got 65 miles of range so we're not going to be going too far. Not going too far, but uh, yeah. Should be a nice ride. And uh, this is my new lid, C3 Pro. Schubert. And I have to say straight away, it's quieter. It's a much more comfortable place to be at 55, 60 miles an hour. So it's lovely guys, lovely, lovely. Uh, there's the car wash. There's the car wash. What about a drive through motorbike wash? Hmm. What about that? Possibly not. Possibly true. So anyway, uh, while I was uh, getting physio, I noticed a really nice journey. So I thought I'd take you on that today. Uh, and see how we go. Yeah. Stick the cruise on to 40, 38, 40, over the bump. Ba -ba -ba -bum. Cow watering lane to our right. Yeah, so, uh, what can I tell you? The lid, guys. Okay, let's talk about the C3 Pro Schubert. So, I got this lid from Sports uh, Bike Shop. I bought two sizes, they came the same day. I picked the right size, sized it up, sent the wrong one back. Got a refund in no time at all. So thanks to the guys at Sports Bike Shop Direct. They're really, really awesome. Excellent service as always, and great products available. So this helmet is very light. Very, very light, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I don't know the exact figures. I'll stick them up here uh, when I do the video later. But yeah, the very, very light helmet. Uh, very quiet, 82 decibels of sound getting in, apparently, that's all that gets in. And uh, very comfortable, the, uh, the, the uh, what can I tell you, the uh, felt and the interior of the helmet is very, very comfortable. It feels plush and comfortable and cool on the face. Um, I actually have to open this lid, so it's a, it's an open face lid, so I have to open it to put it on. I can't put it on closed, and I don't know if anybody else has that same experience, or that's just the way the helmet's supposed to be used, but basically, yeah, have to open it to put it on. Once it's closed, there's a necktie, it comes really tight around your neck, uh, it feels absolutely lovely, uh, and yeah, it's, it's, it's a joy to wear it, I mean, this is my first ride, I've been out on it for a few minutes now and it's very light it's very quiet the vision is excellent really wide vision uh, the vice has got two a left and a right hand uh, opening so I can open my left hand and I can open it with my right with the plastic opener on the front of the visor so really really nice uh, and uh, that's about all I can tell you for now, because I've only had it on for a couple of minutes. But yeah, it's 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 a really really nice lid, guys. It's it's a lovely piece of kit, and uh, I've never spent this much money on a lid before, and it's worth it. It's absolutely worth it because my old shark felt a lot heavier. It was noisier, uh, so you know it's just. Um, it's just so much nicer. We're going along the 414 here, guys, and the lanes are just... Well, the 414 itself is a lovely bit of road. Uh, stretching, oh, I don't know where it stretches from, but I travel on it from Rittle to Brentwood to, to Harlow uh, and places like that. Good morning. No, didn't say hello. Okay. Safety first, Governor. Um, 
Yeah, so anyway, the 414, lovely bit of road. But as I was travelling to my physio uh, from uh, the other side of Chelmsford through Rittall, it took me this route, and I just thought, wow, what a lovely route this is, and I must ride it when I get back on the bike. So, here we are, just outside of Rittall, on the 414, heading away from Chelmsford towards Harlow. Uh, and it's a lovely day out here, guys. I always say this. I don't ride in the rain, but beautiful blue skies, some clouds. Roads are in great condition. And, uh, yeah, it's just really, really, it's a lovely place to be. Lovely place to be. So I'm just going to switch out of dynamic road. Out of dynamic and into road. <coughs> the suspension's a little bit hard in, uh, in dynamic I don't, I don't like it there we go in road a bit more give <coughs> on the suspension so it seems that the world's getting back to normal now, more or less, guys, with uh, cinemas due to open and pubs already open. <coughs> Gym's not quite open yet. But all sorts of things coming back into play now. So, fingers crossed. We can all keep ourselves distanced and uh, keep ourselves safe. Look at this road, look. It opens up beautifully. Lovely, 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 lovely. So yeah, it's a joy to be back out on the bike, guys. I absolutely love it. Uh, I've really missed being on the bike. Uh, not so much going to and from work, to be honest, but I like to get out in the evenings for a ride when it's decent weather. <coughs> Oof. A, little bit, a little bit bumpy, Philip. It's a little bit bumpy, this road. <coughs> yeah, so, yeah, lovely new helmet. Uh, first ride out with a helmet. Um, it retails at about 370 quid, I think I got it for, from Sports Bike Shop. Direct. Hello, cyclists. Hello. And, uh, yeah got the cruise on this morning the cruise is a really really great feature uh, I've used it a lot on not so much on this bike although I do use it as often as I can to be honest uh, but it's uh, a feature I used on my old 1200R didn't realize he was turning right wake up Phil come on uh, yeah my old 1200R uh, used it a lot and I really really think it's a great feature just makes riding a lot easier a lot more comfortable oh wow guys this lid is a it's a dream it's so much lighter than my shark I had a shark squall uh, so it's lighter and it's quieter and the vision it really is so good I mean I know it sounds silly you've got all lids are sort of got a visor on and you should have all round vision but it really is very very good yeah very very good so we're not really in a rush to go anywhere today there's no uh, agenda it's just uh, it's just about taking a ride there's nothing behind me I don't know if you can see there's not much in front it's just coming up to 9 o'clock in the morning on Saturday, the 11th of July. And also, in, in road mode, the suspension feels a bit more spongy. It feels a bit more spongy. We're going to turn left here. Da -da 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 -da. Past the station of petroleum. These were the lanes I was talking about. They, they're lovely, really lovely. Now, this is a 60 at the moment, but it goes into a 30. Quite 
soon into a 30. But yeah, these are the lanes that I love riding on. I mean, they're just, you know, nice, twisty little horses. Oh, fuck me. Wow. Well, you know, I wasn't going fast. And I did pull the clutch in to make the engine noise reduced. And the horse still went sideways, Jesus. Sorry about that, but I guess I came round the bend, you were there. Wow, well, that was a bit scary, wasn't it? <laughs> Thinking heck. Sorry, horse rider, not intentional. <clears throat> but as soon as I saw you, like I say, I pulled my clutch in to reduce the engine noise. Because I thought that's what spooks the horses, but apparently that's not what spooks them. Oof. So, in a 30 now, lovely, uh, I don't I've got no idea where I am. Woolmongers Lane. Nice place to live. Don't you think? Don't you think? Down the lane. and it's not giving me the speed limits on my sat nag. So, just went slowly, because I'm not sure what the speed limit is. I think it's 30. Yes, it's 30. There you go. Look, thank you, sign. Did God send me that sign? Thank you, God. La, 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 la. That's a nice bit of grass. Grass. Nice bit of grass. <coughs> Stones. Oh, there's a lot of gravel deposits around here. I didn't notice this. I didn't notice this when I was in the car. Oh, but then you're not going to, are you, Phil? Because you're in a car. You don't care about the gravel deposits. Okay, here we go. Into a 60. That's lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Into Stone and Massey. Thank you. What's your exact problem? I don't know. Brentwood this way. We knew it anyway. We knew it anyway. So, heated grips, level one. It's uh, 14 degrees out here. But when you're travelling out on the bike and it's 14 degrees, there's a bit of, uh, you know... There's a bit of... There's a bit of... Thank you. <clears throat> bit of a chill, sorry. There's a bit of a chill. Chill, chill, chill. I go left or right, I don't know. I've got the feeling I go, well, do you know, I don't need to be anywhere really, do I? But I think I should have gone left, actually. But, uh, right, sorry, should I say? Yeah, I think. Oh, I just don't know. I just don't know. It's 40. So, yeah, guys, I'm not really interested in going fast. It's just the lanes. A lovely lane. Houses too. This isn't the way I want to go. When 
I can, I'm going to turn around. Looks like there's a junction in here. And we turn it around. Mount Blessing. There's lots of lovely lanes there. I mean, in, in the garden of... Oh, no, it's not the garden, is it? That's Kent, but... In Essex, there are so many lovely lanes you can go riding down. And, uh, <coughs> you know, with no, with no uh, agenda or time limit, we can just go running around, can't we? Riding around. So this uh, this bike, like I say, guys, really, really comfortable to ride. I'm really beginning to enjoy it more and more. Uh, just coming back from an injury, so I am feeling it a little bit as I'm sitting on the bike, having the knees bent like this. Uh, not had them bent like this in a while, so but it needs to get used to the the ways of the of the motorbike ways of the motorbike. There's an S-Bend coming up here. S-Bend. I feel really bad about that horsey pulling up the way it did. Shocked to see me. But yeah, this is definitely the right way now, guys. So yeah, a lovely ride out to the physio where I visit. Uh, where they fix me. The quick shift. Uh, oh, there it is again. <laughs> the quick, it's just such a great invention. Well done, BMW. I mean, I know they didn't invent it, but well, maybe they did. I don't really know the history around it. Maybe I'll look it up and stick it up on screen. But anyway, it's... Uh, I mean, come on. Clutchless shifting. It's, it's just a, such a, a joy on a motorbike. Really. A lovely, lovely feeling. Back into the 30. I'm really on a bike. It's second gear. It's second gear on a motorbike. <coughs> Maybe first for some of you racer boys. You like to hear the engine scream, but that's not me. Can I just ask a question, everybody? Why, what, what is it about people wanting to rev their motorbike up? Why, why, why do you want to do that? I'd like some comments on that, please. Because, you know, modern engines, they don't need it. You turn the engine on, it warms up in time. There's no need to, you know, be such a... Well, there's lots of strong words I want to use at this point, but I won't. But just, you know such an inconsiderate human being wanting to go brum, brum, brum. I mean, today I hadn't ridden my bike for a month and it was a little bit sluggish starting. So after I started the bike, I did rev it maybe four times, very gently, but, you know, just to blow out the cobwebs a little bit. But there was no need to be wringing its neck while I'm sitting there waiting for the bike to warm up. And you don't need to wait for the bike to warm up because it's a modern engine. <coughs> and when I say modern engine, I'm pretty much talking about anything within the last 15 years. You know, no engine needs that. You know, get on the bike and ride it. And while you're riding it, if you want to, you know, increase the revs and... God. Uh, this is 14. If you want to increase the revs and, uh, you know, go for it at that point when you're out on the road, fair enough. But not while you're sitting there. 
I've had experiences before where, you know, young kids on their little 250s or 150s outside the shops revving it up like a, you know, like, like it's hurting my ears just standing there. I don't understand it, guys. I don't like it, and there's no need to do it. So don't do it, okay? It's ridiculous. It's pointless. It's like owning a one-litre Saxo with a, an exhaust louder than a bloody jumbo jet. Stop it, okay? Some noise is good. Some noise is cool. But, you know, some noise makes your ears bleed, and that's just not necessary. I hope I'm making sense. Oh, there's a golf course. Now, I love playing golf. I say I love playing golf. I don't play anymore, but I used to play golf when I was a kid up until I was about maybe 30, 27, 28, and my back just didn't like it. wouldn't let me do it anymore. So frustrating because I absolutely love golf. You know, taught me manners and uh, taught me respect. I'll say hello to you. And you're not going to say hello to me. Ignorant people on the road today, people. Really, come on. Come on, guys, say hello. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I really, really love the game of golf. I think it's a great thing to get into from a young age. It teaches you a lot. Discipline, you know, and the, uh, the need to improve oneself and only rely on oneself and mental strength, all those things saying I was any good at it guys but you know I thought I was sometimes you know sometimes I felt like Nick Faldo anyway yeah love the game of golf lovely and of course everyone can go and play golf now can't they because the courses are open again yay so that's nice that's very nice oh and actually I watched a film last night called Dark Waters and you should all give that a go wow I mean, I don't think it's any surprise that we can't trust conglomerates or governments, but what a story that was about Teflon and how it causes cancer and God knows what else. And how the company DuPont were uh, manufacturing it, knowingly poisoning their employees. What a wonderful world. Money first, always. Don't forget that, people. The only people who, to, who are, the only people who are here to protect us is ourselves. You cannot trust anybody selling anything to tell you that. Oh, it's good. It's fine. It's totally safe. Of course, it is. Yes. So that was the, the route to my physio, a lovely ride out, and um, more cleaning cars, oh, that looks, looks like doing a good job there, good job. <coughs> and uh, it's a lovely ride out to Brentwood actually. Okay, so back on the bike guys, there we go. <coughs> so this is how the lid looks anyway, so like I was saying earlier, you've got two pieces, which is really, really good. Really robust, slick style, looks really nice, the, the helmet I think, is, and it, the white is really good for appearances. Anyway, let's start the bike and get on with the journey. Nothing either side of us, keys and keys, wallet, jacket, fully done up. Okay, let's go. Yeah, so, lovely to be back on the bike again. We now have a full tank of petrol. And off we go. It is a 30 here. But people do tend to go faster. What the, what's this clown doing? Seriously. This old guy behind me is trying to kill me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull in actually, because he's a good It all white van drivers today. I was just filling up, and this guy, he got so close to me, 
literally about, I reckon, 20 centimetres away from the bike. What the hell is wrong with this guy? What is wrong with these people? Some people just don't want to do the speed limit, do they? But they don't understand that oh, I've got points and I don't want any more. I'm down to six now, though, people. Down to six points, which is wonderful. So my other six points come off in March next year, which I am looking forward to, I won't lie. First to second feel, it hurts. So we're coming up into Brentwood now, Brentwood Town Centre. Oh, there we go, someone's doing a U-turn. We're parking up, I don't know what you're doing. Jesus. You didn't look, did you? No. Last time my car did that in front of me, it really hurt. For a long time. We must keep our wits about us, Philip, mustn't we? First gear, off again, off again, 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 again. Uh, gonna go left, let's indicate, shall we? So like I said guys, there was no agenda today really, just, just taking a blast now. Testing out the new lid. Which is, uh, oh, it's really good. The new lid is really, really good. Uh, it, you feel like you're not wearing a helmet almost, you know, and uh, going to get petrol just now and being able to flip the lid up is really convenient. Uh, the inside of the helmet is really comfortable. I fitted my comms unit, uh, my Senna, and it was really easy to fit. The padding does take a lot of, com you know, pulling out, but it's a really quality helmet, so there's a lot of stuff there to pull out. It's very nice the way they've put the padding together and the insides of the helmet, they really do feel premium, as does the outside of the helmet, it really feels premium as well. Uh, so, you know, it's really, really good. A really lovely helmet. I would thoroughly recommend it if you... There we go, go on, just pull out in front of me, mate, why not? Go on. Go on, then. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'd recommend getting one, guys. If, if, you're, uh, if you're in a mid-section helmet range of paying a couple of hundred quid for a helmet, another couple of hundred quid... Um, you know, it gets you up into something that's really, really special. A lovely, lovely lid. Um, super luxurious feeling. Um, very light. Great sound noise cancellation. Jesus, what are you doing? What are these people doing? Uh, and, yeah, it's just... It, it makes riding a lot more comfortable. It's amazing. The lightness. The, the, the lack of sound and the lightness. I'm still wearing earplugs, uh, you know, because I think it's important that you do that, but it does make the riding experience that much nicer, and I never really thought about it before. I had a friend of mine who uh, used to always say to me, Phil, you know, you've got to buy a premium helmet, you've got to buy a premium helmet, and I'm like, well, why would I spend, you know, £400 on a crash helmet? That's mental, when I can get one for 90 quid. why would I? I now know why you would spend 400 quid on a lid, because it's an absolute joy. It's such a lovely experience inside this lid, guys. <clears throat> so yeah, uh, I'd recommend trying one out, you know. I mean, with Sports Bike Shop Direct, you get free returns, so you know. Give one a whirl, and if you don't like it, if you don't feel like it's for you, then you can send it back. Ah, oh, there we go, see? Someone says good morning at last. We can do 40 now, which is nice. Yeah, so the weather's lovely out here again today, and the scenery's beautiful, the roads are nice. It's just a lovely way to spend a Saturday morning after you've been working all week. Just get up and go for a ride, go for a blast, you know? It's just lovely. Um, and I can't say enough about the bike, guys. I mean, <clears throat> the low centre of gravity, the ease of the of the gears, the quick shifter, 
The heated grips, they're keeping my hands nice and warm, actually. I know I've berated the grips before, but they're not as good as the Oxfords, OK? You've got four settings on the Oxfords, only two on these, but they do a job. They keep your hands warm, not the end of the world. Um, the mirrors are excellent on the bike. Obviously, the TFT dash, uh, the seat's good. The suspension's great with the, uh, the ESA. Um, I mean, BMW are very clever. I mean, these bikes aren't cheap. These bikes aren't cheap, you know, compared to if you want to get something like a, a Yamaha. And the Yamis are really popular and wonderful engines. Uh, so, you know, you get a lot on those bikes for a lot less money. But it's not the same. It's not the same. And this bike can be a hooligan bike as well if you want it to be, you know. It's just a lovely, uh, it's a lovely, lovely experience, really. The brakes are good, but when Philip doesn't anticipate the traffic properly, they get him out of trouble. Don't they, Philip? Yes, they do. Yeah, so, you know, brakes are really nice and good. Uh, the centre of gravity, the flickability of the bike, the power's there when you need it, the brakes are there when you need them. I mean, you know, it's a very, very uh, comfortable place to be. And also, it's quite a, a low bike, you know, to swing your leg over it. But it's nice that it's fairly low. Especially, my first bike was a, uh, a cruiser, and those things are really low. So, I mean, literally, you just, you know, you just step onto them. completely different experience altogether uh, but yeah so th th this bike guys it's, it's a bike that does everything you know it, it really is I mean I'm just doing a, an easy ride this morning but if you want to ride all over the world on this thing you could you know with the boxes and oof and uh, you know the suspension set up and the grips and all the stuff all, all the stuff it comes with uh you know, you can you can go anywhere on this bike, really. So much clever tech to to keep you protected, to give you information about what's going on. Oh my God, this road is not good. Oh. Of course, it can't smooth out the roads completely for you. That is that is an issue. That is an issue. But you have got different settings on the suspension. Auto at the moment, so it just does what it wants with regards to the damping it refills here it's required. So that's that's probably about right. But I've not spent too much time doing the same ride on different suspension settings, and I suppose that's what you'd have to do, really. Same ride again and again and again, trying out the suspension. And the exhaust note, uh, I've not really said much about the exhaust note on the bike, but I, I quite like it. It's a stock exhaust. And I think it sounds quite nice. It's not very noisy. It's not very loud. Uh, which some people say can be dangerous, you know. Because people don't hear you. But, uh, well, you know. I think it's loud enough. Yeah, and whenever you want to put the cruise on, just put the cruise on. You know. Rest your right hand. On long journeys, you know, it, the tension does build up in your right hand. Uh, and I know they sell devices where you can, you know, click click the uh, throttle into place. But, yeah, the cruise is really good. It's very, very good. Oh, and I also forgot, it's got a sun visor. Of course, I forgot that. Yeah. Sunny, look. Sun visor. And the visor on this thing... Is really good. Um, it's uh, not one or two positions. It's any position. It slides the full extent, you know, of your face. So it's very good. Costa is open. Look. <gasps> Uh, holy grail of motorbikes. Costa is open. <laughs> it 
So anyway guys, I think that's about it for today really. I uh, just wanted to quickly talk about the lid uh, and uh, take you on a little ride that you know what I was doing today on this uh, lovely morning. Um, so anyway, you know, I just want to say thank you very much to everyone who subscribed. It really means uh, a lot to me. So uh, if you're watching this for the first time, you've stumbled across this channel, please subscribe if you'd like to. I'd love you to subscribe. Thank you very much. Uh, and uh, that's pretty much it for today, guys. So until next time, ride safe. And uh, I'll see you again very soon. Thanks very much indeed. You take care, guys. Bye-bye.